Hello, everybody. This is Making Records with Eric. <laughs> Welcome back to Making Records with Eric Valentine. That's me. Um, so this episode, as you can see, um, it's all about uh, this little wiring trough that I built for the control room. Um, so you get sort of an update, uh, another step along the way where I finished that. Uh, the insulation's up in the walls and it's ready to start having sheetrock go in. Um, and then I also I walk around in the big room again. All the insulation is up in that room, so you can see that, and then see the f the finished cured, uh, you know, uh, new concrete flooring in there, um, which will be ready to have uh, the cork tile floor go on top of it. So you'll be able to see all that, and I just kind of you know talk more about um, uh, just the the concept of the control room a little bit, and uh, some of the things to come. The, the I, I talk about the the wall construction for sound iso isolation. You know uh, how far I was <laughs> willing to go with that. So I talked through that a little bit. Um, pretty straightforward. Just another step along the way. Here you go. Check it out. Uh, I just finished this thing. Um, it's a wiring trough uh, for the control room. Uh, I'm in the control room now. It's still all you know, insulation, there's no sheetrock up yet. We got all the sheetrock in upstairs uh, and we actually even started painting over there. So that's all mudded and taped and all that. And so they're painting up there. And so I'm trying to get these areas ready for sheetrock to go in. And so this was part of it. I, I built this, this wiring trough. And so this control room is set up where really all the equipment is just in the front end of the room. And, um, you know, the walls are going to be pretty thick in here. So there's going to be, uh, you know, I had to add this spacer to make sure there'd be room for the wall to come down here. And this is a lid. So this comes off and then you can see all the wires, you know, um, down in there. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, so the, the walls are going to be five eighths inch, uh, sheetrock, then resonant channel stuff, and then three quarter inch plywood is going to be the final layer because I have to mount so much crap on the walls and ceiling in here. I don't want to have to be searching around for studs or using drywall anchors and stuff. And so I just want to be able to screw right into the, into the plywood. So, um, you know, so that's basically, you know, five eighths plus a half an inch plus three quarters of an inch. So I guess that's, uh, an inch and seven eighths or something. And, um, and so it's pretty, pretty thick wall. So, um, you know, I put this, this spacer in here and then this is the trough. These are the lids. I finished all this. Uh, it's made out of, um, old, uh, you know, barn siding wood. Um, and this is, this is stuff that was left over that didn't get used when they, you know, built this place. So here, here's a piece of it here and you can see, uh, that's the, the, the wood side and then <laughs> it's barn, barn red on the other side. And, uh, so I just used the, uh, the natural wood side. And uh, so I just cut everything up and mounted it in there. And then I'm using just like linseed oil on it to, you know, as a finish. And I'm just, I'm really into um, trying to recycle stuff, you know, re repurpose and reuse stuff these days. Not only because uh, I'm just tired of throwing stuff away and having to constantly buy new stuff and have so much waste surrounding what I do. But it also serves my my hopeless thriftiness. <laughs> um, I just I can't I can't get over it. I just don't I don't like spending a lot of money on things. So um, so this stuff was here and it was available to use. So I turned it into a wiring trough. There it is, and uh, you can see you know some of the wires going in here. You know I have everything covered up right now. The you know, all the racks are set up. Um, and they're mostly covered up that one I was using the other day. So it's not, it's not covered up right now, but, um, all these racks have a bunch of my outboard gear, um, in it, the stuff that I'm not using in the, uh, in the small control room setup right now. Um, and then this is kind of cool. Uh, I had a video of this going in, so you'll probably have seen that, but, uh, here is the, the finished new concrete floor in the big room. You can kind of get a sense of where things are at in here. This is in the same spot where uh it's just the insulation has gone in and we're you know getting ready for the uh sheetrock to go up um, that's going to start next week sheetrock will go up in this room we're gonna have a 26 foot uh scissor lift for the team of folks that are doing the the sheetrock and uh yesterday um i was finishing doing all this shimming around the doors because we want to have the 
the sheetrock come and actually make this turn and come right up uh, with a little eighth inch reveal on this uh, on this door frame. So it'll come up, make the turn, and then it'll just be sheetrock finished out right up to this thing. So we won't have to put a trim piece on. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's a nice wolf spider right there. Hi, guy. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so then we, we had to recap the, uh, the concrete floor in here because it was, you know, this, this was a barn and it used to be a cattle farm and, you know, right here and there, there were drains in the floor. Um, so I, I think they actually used it for slaughtering cows. So, um, so the, the floors were pitched and it was going to make it difficult for us to put down the, uh, we're going to do a cork tile floor in here. I think it's going to look really cool and probably sound good. Um, and so we needed to get the floor super level. Uh, and the easiest way to do that was just to recap it. So there's just new, like, you know, two inches of concrete across this whole thing and uh, leveled everything out. Um, and so that's where it's at. I actually, I did some, some recording in here. There was a project that uh, I started in Nashville and had to finish vocals here. And so before it was this crazy, like race against time, like they had started doing insulation. They started on the other end of the building and they're working their way this way. And I wanted to use this room because it's an amazing acoustic space. It sounds incredible in here. It's a lot drier now because there's all this exposed um, insulation all over the place. Um, and so I had uh, these folks come in and sing, you know, these like uh, gang vocals. And there was this cool like classical chorale that they did in the room. And the room just sounded gorgeous. It, it's really going to be incredible. And so I, I had to get that done. We finished like days before all the, all the insulation started going in because it was going to kill the ambience of the room. So I managed to get that done. And then I reamped a bunch of stuff in here too. Uh, reamped um, instruments in this room to just capture the sound of the space. Uh, and so, but it's gonna be cool because like next week they'll start putting up sheetrock. And once this whole room has sheetrock in it again, um, then it's, uh, we'll really hear what this, this room's gonna sound like. I think mean, it's gonna have an incredible reverb in here. And then I'll start figuring out how to manage it, um, you know, so I can have some control over how reflective the surfaces are, and have a shorter reverb, warm it up, or whatever, um, you know, once uh, once we hear what it's like with all the sheetrock in here. But that is where things are at. So we'll see see what happens. All right. So there you go. You can see where things were at at that point. Um, you know, so the project, obviously, that I was talking about was actually Nickel Creek. Um, they came, uh, we couldn't quite get all of the vocals done uh, in Nashville, so they came uh, to Vermont, spend, spent a few days uh, here to finish up the vocals. And uh, so I got to record vocals in that amazing big space. Um, there was, you know, uh, I think I mentioned this in one of the... Um, uh, the most recent um, comments and questions um, thing, but um, you know uh, there was a specific part this this chorale that they're going to do, and we we literally saved it so we could record uh, in that huge barn, and and man, did it 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 came out beautiful in there. Uh, but that was of course before the insulation was in. I talk about this a little bit uh, in there, but like you know. The construction was trying to be finished, like, and so they're literally insulating the building, starting at, you know, what is the, well, I guess it would be the, the east end of the building, working their way west, and the, the big room is all the way on the west end of the building, <laughs> and so I had to finish using it for that project before they, you know, insulated the whole space and killed the ambience in there. Uh, and so I, I managed to do that. I had a couple of really long nights, um, you know, some tricky, it's very, very tricky trying to schedule those kind of long days when you're when you're being a dad <laughs> at the same time. Um, but I managed to pull it off, and uh, you know, uh, saying got to do it overnight with grandparents, and I was up there in there to the wee hours, just finishing reamping um, a bunch of their instruments in that huge uh, cavernous room, and uh, got got some really cool results from that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that, that happened in that project is you know we were. Um, finishing every single little teeny detail with their vocals, make sure we got every harmony idea, everything that they wanted to try in there. And, um, you know, 
<laughs> it always happens. You always kind of underestimate the time that you have. And we, we literally recorded right up to the minute when we had to like run downstairs and get in the car and go to the airport. <laughs> you know, it's just, it always seems to go that way when you put a time constraint on things, you know, you'll use every second of it. Um, and I think there was even one thing that we ended up forgetting to do. And, uh, uh, my good friend Kian ended up having to <laughs> record one key, one vocal on that thing um, in uh, in Los Angeles. It was just more convenient to do it that way. So, um, so yeah. But we got it all done, and you know that record came out. Um, so, uh, so there it is. It looks like the next episode is going to be um, showing where things are at after the sheetrock. All the sheetrock went up in that big room, which was a huge, huge job, man. That you know. Um, just accessing the height of the walls and all the angles that I'd put in there and stuff. The, uh, the sheetrock team was, was very, very cool and very game, you know, a cool group of guys and, uh, were, were, you know, happy to take on the challenge and they, they did a really, really great job in that place. Um, but, uh, that will be, uh, the next thing we can check out. I'll see you then. All right. Bye. (laughs)